Hi guys, this is a video demonstration of the Test Electronics 8 inch by 15 inch protector style test fixture. Now this is our smallest protector test fixture and the thing about it being the smallest is that it's going to be very compact inside in a lot of applications. So what I want to do, focus on with this video is how to take it apart. So first what you do is you unscrew the bottom cover which gives you access to the internals. Now if your fixture is not very complicated you can do most of your work from here. However this fixture is pretty complicated. Uh, look at this. If you wanted to get under here you'd have a hard time getting past these parts mounted on the side and then getting down in here and all over in this fixture. So the way to access this is to take off the sides. And the way to take off the side panels is with these five screws along the bottom and these two top screws here and here. So let's remove those and you might think when you're taking this apart, well hey, this protector has a bar going right through the middle and if I pull the sides off it's going to, the sides are connected to this bar and it's going to um, be all locked down on me. But uh, that's, that's not the case. The bar will slip right out as I'll show you here as I remove all these screws. There's quite a bit of screws so bear with me. We'll get all five of these screws out. Now this panel, the side opposite the handle, just pulls out simply like this. Now, as you see in here, there's a bunch of wires. So what we have to do is pull the right wires and we'll just pull them all, I'll do it from the side so you can see, we'll just pull them all like, I better not do it from the side, you'll understand. We'll just pull all these wires out of here and this one right off here. So they were all just pulled right out of here and here. And this panel comes right off. Now you have a lot more access to the inside. You can go in and do all your wiring. And if you want to, you can also remove this panel. And you do it the exact same way. You remove all these screws. There's just one thing a little different, so that's why I'm showing you both panels. Is with this panel, you have to remove the camming mechanism. And there's nothing to it. It's just a matter of Okay, also make sure that your camming mechanism is open so there's no strain on it when you remove these panels. But there's nothing to it. You just uh, position it properly and it comes right out, as I'll show you here as soon as I remove these last two screws on the side. And here's the last one. And as you see, it's already rotating around a little bit. Okay, now... Well, it did lift just right out, but that because that fell straight down just by gravity. But you got to make sure. Let me let me show you. Like if that's here, you won't be able to lift it out. It's got to be down like this, and then it lifts out. I'll show you from the front side too. It has to be down, and then it lifts right out. Right, the 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 wheels go right in here, like like this. And that's, that comes right out. Okay, so that's really easy and it even kind of falls apart on you if you don't position the handle right. Gravity does it for you, as you saw. Now you have the ability to access everything very easily. Uh, you can get to all your parts uh, to wire things up right here uh, very easily in this. Okay, so let me put it back together now. You put it together the same way you take it apart. It's very important that you put this side in first and handles down. Gravity will do that for you. Just uh, lay it right in there. Well, what I wanted to show you too is how I mounted this board and that kind of thing. But okay, gra gravity will do it for you. It'll go right in there. Just jiggle it a little bit there. Okay, put it on its edge. What I like to do is put these two end screws 
in the flathead screws. Just put them in there. Put them in kind of loose so everything will self-align in the end. And then tighten it all down in the end. And then also pull this handle back once you have it in. That relieves the pressure on the plates. Uh, that, that way there's no pressure on your spring plates trying to push you out of doing what you're doing. Then the next screw I like to put in, of course, is this middle one. That's the perfect one. Uh, once that's in, it will align everything. So let's put that in. And don't tighten it. Put these all in. And bear with me, these screws, there's just a, a lot of screws for these side panels. Well, five, but it's a lot for a video. It just takes some time to turn screws. I hate to make videos just of me turning screws, but it's got to be that way with this demonstration. Okay, so now you just tighten everything down. Turn it back over. Don't forget to tighten your flatheads on the bottom. And now this is back together. Camming mechanism is right in place. You didn't have to take anything apart on the camming mechanism. Make sure you remember that. Okay, now we'll just put all the these cables need to be plugged into this uh, USB hub, which is really easy. You probably can't see this because it's kind of blocked, but I'm just plugging cables into the the USB hub. Mm, this goes this way. Okay. And then the ribbon cable, the last one. Ribbon cable goes in here. There we go. Okay. This just slides in like, like, like you saw me do, like that, and we can then put the same as the last plate. Put the uh, the two flathead screws on the bottom. Keep them loose till the very end, and we'll tighten them. Go through and tighten them all up at the same time. Same thing here. Top middle screw first. Get on this side of the camera. Once again, realize that the handle is back because that takes the force off of everything. Put all of these screws in here. screws to go. I know, watching me turn screws. Uh, this, there's just a lot of screws for this video. Okay, then one of them doesn't line quite right. You just, uh, just push it into place. That's all you need to do. It's sheet metal and it can vary a little bit. Just push it in and it will go right in just like that. That's why you want to make keep them all loose to start with. I had the middle one just a little tight so the end one didn't quite align. I had to go back and loosen it up. Now I'm tightening them all, tightening them all down. Don't forget to tighten the two bottom ones. And now it's back together again. It's that easy to get in and access stuff where there's a high density and a lot of material and the, the, uh, a lot of parts in there. And the lever latch is working fine. Now, I'll put the bottom cover on. 
which is very easy. Just drop that on and tighten the two screws. And then what I'll do is I'll show you the other parts. How to access the, the test pins on both sides. So let's start with the bed of nails side. Turn this back over. Open it up. To access the bed of nails on the bottom, what you need to do, well first remove the sample board, is remove these four screws right here. And this will remove this mid plate, this bed of nails plate or bond plate. Uh, this is actually more of a cradling plate in the center that holds the board in place. It doesn't really contain the bed of nails. So you take those four screws out, put it on its side, and use the lever to kind of help you get it out. And you can work it out this way. Now sometimes you might need a little flat blade screwdriver once you've worked it out to pull in there. And then it'll come, come right out just, just like this, this easy. And now you have your plate out, you can make little modifications if you move components and it hits places. But the main reason to take this out is to access test pins to make changes. Uh, the test pins are here, you just you can pull them out with some tweezers, put a new one in, they're socketed. And the uh, connector assembly board is also socketed. So you take out these four um, screws on the side and this will pull right out, right out of the sockets. And then you can replace it with a new board when this connector wears out. Uh, this, these springs are epoxied in place so they don't fall out. I think the last one I we were making, this is the new thing we're doing now is putting these springs, epoxying them in so it keeps it a little easier to take apart and put back together so you don't have springs falling apart on you when, when you take those out. Now just tap this in, pull, it, pull this up before you tap it in, and now in this case you want it acti activated because that puts the tooling pins and causes everything to self-align uh, when, when the, the handle is up. So you leave the handle up in this case and it will all self-align and then you just tighten the screws down which also self-aligns it. And tighten them down uh, loosely at first. Put them together loosely at first and then tighten it down in a crisscross fashion so that everything self-aligns. And then pull the handle once or twice, make sure it feels smooth. And you can even drop the board in and lock it down and test it. Make sure it all works. So that's how you access the bed of nails. Now the press plate, this is both bottom and top access. The, the top access is here. Now one thing I want to show you about this one is this side is gone. And the reason for that is so that you can get in here and press these buttons and see these LEDs on the side if you want to. Uh, it just gives you more access to your fixture. The, there's one button on the front that we couldn't really give you access to. We could have if you would have requested it, but uh, it, it's, it was more difficult. So we, we just gave you access to the side since you didn't even request any access. You got a little bit. And it could be modified, so if you do need that on the front, you can do that. Now, to, to uh, take, now you have total access to the wiring. Now, to, to remove and replace test pins, you uh, will remove this, this board right here. And now you have all access to these test pins, and you can also close your lever latch, look down, and see, verify that. Uh, the holes are aligning with the test points just by looking down the holes it makes it nice and easy to verify. Now when you put it back together, when you take it apart it doesn't matter where this is. If it's down it'll pop right up for you. If it's, but when you put it back together you need to lift this up otherwise the pin pressure is going to fight against you. So lift it up and then drop it in. It falls right into place and then tighten the screws down. Make sure it's all the way seated. Make sure no wires back here fall underneath it and get pinched. And we'll tighten that all down. Just like that. And then this goes right back the way it was. 
Now it doesn't matter if the lever latch is down or not, we got the main part in. This is just a protective plate because the backs of those pins are a little fragile. And like you saw me putting the fixture upside down, it's okay as long as the protective plate is on there. And I got a nice rubber mat here too so I don't scratch up this protective Lexan cover. But as long as the Lexan cover is on, you can put the fixture upside down and mess with it and all kinds of things. I'll have to get a new screw for that one side. I dropped it on the ground. But that concludes how you assemble and disassemble the protector type test fixture. Uh, one more thing I need to show you is the quick release uh, press plate, of course. You pull out this hinge, and now you can take your press plate out and machine little things if you need to, or add new holes, or whatever you need to do, and put it right back together again, just by putting the, the hinge pin in. There, now, now this concludes the demonstration of how to assemble and disassemble the protector, uh, 8 inch by 15 inch test fixture, and these are available in increments of 2 inches. Uh, this is 8, it's available in 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, all the way up to 24. So if this, you found this video informative and you'd like to see more videos like this, there are more available on testelectronics.com. Thanks for watching.